I've got a different guy I want to ask who the MVP was, and uh, that is Davai Lama from D2 Hustlers coming to join us for an interview. Davai Lama, firstly, huge congrats on the win. Um, who was your MVP oh. for uh, that last game? This last game? Mm-hmm. Uh, I give it to Ainge as well. He went, he went Moat Fishman. You know, his stretch was, was pretty nice. Got a lot of good glimpses. Always in the right position. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he had a, he had oh, a wonderful game. It was nice game. to All have right, him we'll, 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 we'll agree. Yeah, yeah, great disruptor gameplay. Um, well, firstly, obviously, congrats. And uh, what was your kind of plan going into this series? Did did you have one? Did you just turn up and play the usual dotes? Um, well, we just plan ahead for the drafts. You know, like we just looked at what heroes they like, what heroes they don't like. You know, which heroes we worried about playing against, which heroes we, that we want to play against them. Uh, then from the, you know in the first drafting phase, you know, we, we get the heroes that we want to play. Now we. In both drafts, we were very happy with the heroes that we got. Um, and then from there, you know, we managed to finish both our drafts quite nicely, I think. And uh, yeah, I would say strategically, I think we, we had a very, very, you know, very good fundament fundamentals today. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. So uh, can, you, can you give us any insight into what heroes you were specifically not wanting to play against from Team Bold? Well, it's just we has Batrider, but they they banned it themselves. So it's like oh, <laughs> nice free ban. I really like to ban this because they they you know he yeah. didn't want to play or they didn't want to play against it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's coming out from Mirage right after yesterday, and then his Ember today. Uh, look, looking very yeah. fresh. I mean, ha have you been did, impressed by him so far in your team? Yeah, very happy. Like the first time I played with him, like a couple of months ago, you know, I really liked him. I really like playing with him, Shad, and Alex. I mean, I was already playing with Alex off the scene. I was going to play with Alex anyway. Yeah. Um, but I thought, like, he's really, really talented. And I thought Shad was also really good, you know. Shad, like, um, he, he's, like, doing better in life. You know, like, he had some... some. Um, he was a little sick in the past, stuff, but right yeah. now he's... Yeah, yeah. right now he's, like, doing a lot better. And uh, I really, really wanted to play with Baldum. And so I made a decision to stop playing in A Division 1. So I just sold my slot to Denny and I moved to EU. Um, <laughs> and that's where I am. That's where I am right now. And yeah, I'm very happy that I went with this team. And I'm, you know, I'm very happy with my teammates. Especially Sounds Mirage good. Glad to hear it. All right, Fleet. Yeah, just... Oh, sorry. I, I, I just, can I jump in? I just wanted to ask, no, just on the back of talking about NA. Like, <laughs> all right. What, what, what do you think is the biggest difference? Because you've been playing in NA for like two years now-ish. Um, what, what would you say is mm -hmm. the biggest difference in at least competitive play between the two? Well, obviously, there's just in EU and CS, the talent pool is just so much, so much bigger. And NA, like in NA Div One and Div Two, like barely, like less than half of the players are actually from NA. There's, and that's partially just because like play less. It's also mostly is because it's like impossible to like make a living unless you're on a tier one team. You know, unless you're in an S tier team, you cannot make a living playing in NA. So the the the, the talent pool is very shallow. There's not a lot. Not a lot of room for growth. It's very hard to like invest a lot of time in Dota, you know. Well, you know, in Europe and Eastern Europe, you know, it's a more viable career choice because there's not that many other viable career choices in a, you know, in countries like you know, in, in ex-Soviet Union countries. Um, so the talent pool is the biggest one. There's just so many, so many players from um, from CIS and in Eastern Europe that have a lot of potential. In NA, it's less so, but it's a very tightly woven together somewhat comfortable scene i would say I, I do i did enjoy playing in na you know it's a very homely scene i would say and um yeah i'll miss it cool. sweet sweet all right uh fluke you got okay. a question for mr devon lana yeah, I do. So obviously, when we we had a chat to to Shad after your first series victory, he said that this uh, Div Two is extremely tight. Who do you guys feel like is your, your kind of main competition? Because so far, I think in the first two series that you guys played, you haven't really been tested all too much from from Ivy and uh, Team Ball. Yeah, exactly. Team Ivy and Ball are probably teams that we would rate the lowest of, out of all the all the teams. So you know, we had a very a, a soft sort to DPC. Um, <laughs> There's a lot of good teams, like, you know, Alliance, Monaspa, Urudu, and the Ancient Tribe are all very good teams, and, you know, we expect, you know, we expect they will put up quite a fight when we play them. Uh, probably Urudu is the strongest of all of them right now, I think. So, yeah, mm -hmm. those teams are going to be the biggest challenge. All right, name of the names, we like to see it. Uh, Ares, you got any questions? 
Yeah. Um, going back to TI, was there anything that you're able to take out of that experience, whether it be game wise or just you know personally as well? Oh, there was a lot. Yeah, I traveled to Singapore. You know, I got to see Singapore. It was really nice. Stayed in a five star hotel, paid for by by PGL. Uh, it was a great experience. The production, the production of like the last Edge Warfare wasn't top notch. I've heard. But like to be there was really amazing to meet all the other pro players. Um, I had to play TI games, you know, it's an experience. You know, like it's it's not literally TI, but it, it was close enough for me, you know, and I enjoyed it. You know, like I, I was very lucky to be able to, to play there, you know. And uh, yeah, I, I you know like it's an experience to play, you know, in, in a big tournament like that, like both physically and just pure Dota wise. So, sorry, I mean like mentally, and uh, and pure Dota wise. Yeah, it was just a blast, in general. Glad you had a good time. Absolutely. All right, last question from me then. Um, with D2 Hustlers, or even yourself personally, is is there any team specifically which you look at when you're kind of training and that, that you want to emulate the most? Mm, I, I would say we just look at a lot of teams and see what they do well, to be right in the end. We just, we just find out what works for us, so... I wouldn't, I wouldn't say we try to emulate team. We, we, we try to emulate, you know, the best teams in the world, right? We, we, emulate, we look at what Dan does, we look at what does, and a lot of other teams, you know, and see if we, if, if we can implement what works for us. Makes a lot of sense. All righty. Thank you for the insights, uh, Davalama, and uh, best of luck with the rest of your Division 2 journey. Thank you. Thank you. My pleasure. Look who's back. Here, have an arrow. have two.